Hello! So yesterday they launched the Steam version of Wizardry Variants Daphne for PC, which is really exciting. But uh, an issue that myself and many others noticed is that the game is kind of low resolution on the PC. Like it was made for mobile and uh, unfortunately, like they had pretty much direct report that is a uh, port that is still uh, mobile graphics. Like if you go to the settings, the same settings, there is not a better graphics quality than normal, which is really low res. So it looks kind of bad, like almost even looks worse on the PC than it does on like a mobile phone or in blue stacks. Right. So what can we do to fix this? Right. Is there a way to fix it? And yes. Yes, there is. I've been messing around with this like uh, for the last few hours and uh, there's actually a way to fix this. So what we want to do though right now is we want to window this out and then close this, right? We close that, right? So, and this goes back to my, now we can just go straight to my Steam library. We go into, uh, we find Wizardry Daphne in my library here. We go to properties and you see where it says launch options. We want to type in a custom resolution. So, right, and what you want to do, like I said, you just want to go, so you want to type in screen width. Uh, so screen, so dash dot, so dash screen dash width. And then you want to type in a width. Um, I'm going to go 1440 here. And then I'm going to go screen height. Screen height, like I said, this should be equal to whatever your height screen is, right? Since I am on a 2160p uh, screen, we want to go uh, screen height 2160. This is a two by three ratio. Like this is, in case you're wondering, this is a two by three ratio. Um, and that's probably what you want to do. Like uh, this is probably going to get you the best way I said. The game is meant for mobile, which is like a vertical resolution. And uh, as Master like said, it seems to prefer if you put, put a vertical resolution here. Just so long as it matches the height of your monitor, this should be good. Um, what you, another thing you can do, like I said, so this is for, uh, like a 20, a 21, p or 4k monitor. Like if you had say a 1080p monitor, you'd number it, have these numbers be 720 by 1080. And, uh, if you were on a 1440p monitor, it'd be 1440 and then be 960 over here. Right. So this is just, these are the numbers you'd probably want to go with just for the window mode. Right. Like, like I said, but I've said, said I'm on a 2160. We're going to go 1440 by 2160. These are two, three ratios. It's like I said, it's a pretty... Uh, it's pretty common, like vertical resolutions of phones, as you might see your tablets. So we're just going to go with that. And then you're going to hit X here. Then you go back to Daphne and then just hit play. Let you play the game. Yes, we want to play it. Right. We're just going to play it here. Right. And it will launch the game again. Right. And uh, it should, like I said, it's going to be back in full screen. Like I said, but once we'll, we'll fix this here in a second, we just have to get back into the game. Right, let's get back into the game. Right, so it's gonna probably still look bad when we first launch in the game, right? That's just it. It's still gonna look fuzzy. Right, see, it still looks fuzzy. Okay, but what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna get windowed. All of a sudden, look at this. Look, it's all of a sudden, like, super sharp. It looks way better. We can go back to full screen now, and you still got your uh, high resolution. Right, so that's the solution. You just have to, you know, create a custom resolution that's equal to your vertical one. Um, like your vertical screen monitor, then, uh, you know, go into window, then back to full screen. Um, that should get you, uh, your, uh, native resolution. Um, like if you have any, if you have like DSR or something, you could probably go twice your native resolution if you want to do like DSR 4X or something. But, uh, you know, for this tutorial though, we're just going to keep it simple. Go with your vertical one. Um, like I said, I, mean, I do recommend trying like a, like a, doing a vertical resolution, like I said, do like a two by three ratio or something. Right, um, like I said, but it doesn't really matter once you get in the game, right? He said you will have this nice resolution, all the characters will look super nice, right? Like they are just super, you know, crisp like pixels, like everything looking really good here. Um But yeah, now if we go into some of the shops and stuff, like the characters will look way better. Like if we hit talk, like She's never looked better. Look at this. Like I said, perfect. The pixels look so much better than it, than they probably did if you've been playing on blue stacks, you've been playing on mobile. This said suddenly looks much better, right? Like and uh and if we want to go find a monster or something, like I said, everything will be like perfect uh right. pixels in going. the thing, but like Right, if you notice, like, the sides of the screen look way better. Like, when I was doing this yesterday in full screen, my video, like, yesterday, yeah, like, the sides of these dungeons, that, like I said, it's a bit, it was a bit blurry on the sides. Like, it doesn't look blurry tonight. Looks super nice. Like, everything looks way better. The sky is not all buggy. The sky actually looks like a sky. Like, on blue stacks, I, my sky was, like, missing half the time. It's just black up there, so looks, like, way better. Like, this just, like I said, just, you could see it, like... 
looks so much better here. And, like, let's just try to find a fight here so we can see the combat. An Here's an enemy. So annoying. Boom, look at that. We got beautiful full screen battle. Okay, well, so we can... Actually, maybe not. Olive's gonna need some healing here. Boom, all right, boom. Yeah, actually, you should be okay. Ah. There you go. Ah, Daniel, you're way too slow. Fine. All right, boom. Like I said, May God continue to protect us. looks beautiful. So that's how to play uh, Wizardry Variants Daphne in full screen with high resolution. Um, but suppose you don't really like how much screen is, space is wasted, like on the PC version, you have all the sides. doesn't really make a lot of use of the uh, sides here. There's like, you know, so a lot of extra space not really being utilized very well. Even like town menus and stuff, like I said, they'll just be, you know, pillar boxing in the screens, right? As like, so like, so maybe, you, or maybe you just play, playing this on a mobile phone or in Bluestacks and you just like the profile mode. Right, and you just kind of want to have that same experience. Um, there is a problem currently with the PC version. To see all these little transparent, uh, like window themes here, like um, these, like if you put this into window mode here, it literally just dumps it on top of your information. It's not in a good place. Like if this was moved up a bit higher, it would be fine. But uh, how it currently is, it's just it's not very uh, workable. Um, so you would actually have to use a bit wider resolution. You'd probably have to go more of a square resolution. The other thing. That might annoy some people is the fact that uh, in windowed mode, you're going to see your desktop background or whatever, right? So there's actually a solution. There's a program called Integer Scaler. Um, and what you want to do is you want to go to the Integer Scaler website, just download that, install that. Like that's a super lightweight program. Like you literally just install it, open up it up. And then, uh, you know, when it's open, you can literally just go with any game and then just hit Alt F11 and then it will... Like add this nice like black pillar boxing around the window. Literally just hide everything around the window, so you'll be just playing the game in this nice uh, black screen. You might notice that there is a little bit of a gap at the top here, and that's from like the window tab. Like there's not a whole lot you could do about it. Like integer scaler hides that too, but because that's there, um, and since we were at our native uh, like height, um, it is cutting off the like the bottom of the screen here. It's not really. A big deal for most people, like I said, but if it, if you do think it's an issue, you can go when you're changing your resolution. You can cut off about 30 pixels, and we need to go change this resolution anyway because of, right, the width here. But we'll go uh, edit that now, right? So once again, let's go back to Wizardry Variants Daphne, and uh, we will put in a square resolution this time. But uh, we're actually going to cut off about 30 pixels on the other one, right? This just to make up for that gap there. And uh, once you've done that, just close the window and restart the game. All right, and then we're back here in the game um, in windowed mode, and you can see now this is not over the thing. This is a square resolution. This is gives up enough room. You could probably go a bit narrower, but not too much narrower. Um, there it looks like there is a little bit of space before it starts interfering, but like I said, this is a square resolution, but it does look pretty good, and because we did cut off like the bottom 30 pixels, it's no longer cutting off the bottoms here. And if we go back down, let's say we need to level up on it will uh, have the... Like I said, the level up screen stuff will not be off the screen. So let's just run to town real quick. Um, I think I have, I think a couple of these characters can level up. So let's just go town really quickly. You know, show what your, those town screens look like. Um, but this is pretty, this is still, this is still a pretty good experience here. Like if you, like I said, it still doesn't have as much wasted space on the side for the scenes. There's still a bit there, but it's still... It's not quite the extreme change here because these are always pillared boxed anyways. Like there's nothing you could do about that. Those are still pillar box, but this feels like I said, we're not wasting as much uh, screen real estate. Again, see pillar like I said, so just a lot feels a lot better, but let's go to the end real quick. I think there's a couple of these characters could probably level up. So let's just go see what happens here. All right. Oh, do I have auto on? Haven't I gotten pretty strong? Yep, so there you go. So there you go. The level up screen is like said goes to wherever you put it, like you put it back to widescreen. It would be like that. It would still be right there versus here. Like right. So it does track your so it does track like those things there. So but uh yeah, this is you still see the full character, like I said. 
Uh, the XS Square resolution, not too bad, like I said. A bit wider than you might want, like I said, but I still think this is pretty, still pretty good for the vertical experience. Um, like I said, this is probably what you want to go with if you want to do like the, like I said, like more of a windowed experience here. This too is God's guidance. Um, but yeah, like I said, that should uh, about cover it. Um, do come again. Yeah, so there are a few more days uh, left uh, for Savia um, in the jeweler. Like I said, if you're still if you're interested in acquiring Savia, there is a like about four days left on her to get her bones from the jeweler. Um, like I, said, I did do a video on her when she was first released, and you can find that video down below. As always, thank you for watching.